Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Okay, so today we're gonna to be putting together this cake topper, and I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to show you. Um, and I'm also on a quest to show you how versatile it is. So you'll see in a series of all the different ways we could use this cake topper template. So it is, can you, can you guess what it is? Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's the evil queen so we're gonna be piecing this together um, it's gonna be so cute it if you've been following me I just did a snow white sugar skull so she's half sugar skull half beautiful snow white the whole piece is stunning so I kind of wanted to put everything together and do this whole theme so first thing is as you know, I like to use my HTV. So this says one byte. It's gonna go on the banner. Of course, for the banner, you can put happy birthday, you can put the name of the birthday girl, um, boy, age, whatever it is. Um, for this one, because it's just, I'm gonna put one byte. But um, I like using HTV for the letters because it's usually, you know, I mean, this is only, what, seven, seven letters. It's not that bad, but sometimes the the letters are really thin so it's a lot easier to use HTV than it is to use paper because HTV can handle the thinner cuts and it's all on one piece and you just apply heat and it's done so you don't have to worry about that so you can see right here I already have my um, my mini on so see it just pops out you have more options uh, with colors as well. So I really, I just, I like using HTV. All right, so that should be down almost. But if you wanted to cut this in cardstock, of course you can. <clears throat> so, well, it's not on yet. Here we go. All right, and then I'm gonna put the bite down. Now, um, the other thing is, you may notice I switched out my heat pad. So this heat pad is a silicone base. So that means uh, if I use it for infusible ink, it's not going to transfer the ink and nothing should really stick to it. So I am in love with it. All right. So once that's down, what you want to do is I always heat one last time with the Teflon sheet because this is sticky, right? Like if you've ever used HTV, you can hear it. So when I pull pull it off, um, while there's not, I'm not pulling, it comes off really easily, but we're still pulling it away from, from its anchor to the paper. So you wanna apply heat just one last time to make sure that it is anchored down onto your paper. Paper is not as big of a deal because obviously we're not gonna wash it. So it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna turn this off and move it. But you always wanna just, for regular stuff like, ah, sorry. All right, uh, for regular things like sweatshirts and stuff that will go in the wash, you do wanna make sure that it's anchored down. All right, so my one bite is ready to go and look how it just pops out, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, okay. Um, so you can see all the pieces here. All right, so this piece, I'm gonna use foam dots. There are big enough areas where we can easily put down the foam dots so that it can kind of stand out a little bit. And look at that paper. I love this paper. It is, um, it's silver. I gotta look at the actual name, but I have it in gold as well. So there's like a texture on it and it almost looks like gold flakes. So I absolutely love it. All right, so let's get our foam squares on here. So if you're like me, um, I like, I like to um, have everything in layers and I also like them to pop out a little bit so that even with it being layered, it's not so flat. Um, of course, that's, you know, that's personal preference. So hopefully we like the same things. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move this a little bit because I feel like this dot, 
you can see it a little bit there and I don't want it to be seen at all. So <clears throat> let me move it down here. All right, so it's pretty even. I'm gonna put one more right here. Okay, so press down to make sure that it's really anchored. And then I'm going to actually put a little bit of glue down as well. I don't trust these foam tape uh, sticker thingies. Um, I get them from the Dollar Tree and nothing against Dollar Tree, but sometimes the glue or the adhesive doesn't work that well. So I wanna make sure this is down. I'm just gonna put extra glue on there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it down below so like the glue, I mean the tape isn't going anywhere. And then on some of them, I'm actually gonna put it on top. Okay, I know, just a little extra. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. I mean, look at this, the frame is so pretty. So it looks delicate, but it's not, right? Each one of these things are really big. It cuts well. Um, I mean, just look at that. Ah, love it, love it, love it. Okay, <laughs> let's work on the Evil Queen. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit and hopefully I don't lose any pieces here. All right. So with the eyes, you can see the eyes are really small for the white. So what I did was instead of cutting out the individual white pieces, um, I show you how to do it in design space to cut out just a big old piece like this. But we left that in there because if you needed to do this as, I don't know, if you wanted to use this for something else like HTV, you could. Um, so I'm going to just take this down like this. I'm going to do the other side, the other eye, same way. Okay, so that's down, right? So now we know where the eyes are. This is going to be the face. So let's put down her crown. Oh, actually, you know what I was, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, this, the, the Evil Queen is an SVG file that I bought on Etsy. And I did show you in Design Space how to do the eyes. For some reason, I thought, it was part of the, the file, but it's not. Okay, so it's gonna go like that. There is a little bit of a space. So I kinda wanna get the pieces down so I know where they go. Now, because I put her inside the frame like this, I didn't let me move this out of the way. I didn't trim off everything. So I kind of left it really big. We can trim this afterwards, after we put, put her in the frame. All right, so this is her face. Just wondering if I wanna make any more adjustments. All right, so let's put in her eyelids, her eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the glue. So the whole point of this is you can use this template for any princess-ish theme. So I'm going to flip this over and hopefully get this down. I 
wonder how it's supposed to go. Shoot. So you can see I made, I don't know, maybe it goes on the other side, so. I'm gonna try it on the other side. I felt like that didn't fit that well. That looks better, I think. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it on this side. All right, these little pieces are so small. Okay. put her face down. So I'm just going to flip this over, put the glue down. She looks so good. Okay, the green eyes, look at how small they are. Just gonna flip this over, put glue down. Um, I did this same template and I did Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So, and I went, you know, the colors. So you can go from super colorful to evil. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's put down her lips. And it's sort of the same thing with the um, the underwater theme cake topper that I have. Um, we did that a few different ways with um, the different characters. So like it could be the Little Mermaid or just a regular mermaid or any kind of underwater theme. And I'm gonna show you, I'm super excited to show you. I'm gonna use that same water theme for Snow White, if you can believe it. And I'll just leave it like that. And then you guys can figure out the rest. Or just follow along and you'll find out. But I'm super excited about that one. So let me know in comments if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so there is her, oh my gosh, her face looks so good. Okay. So let's put this down. I'm just gonna trim this piece off. Cause like I said, um, on this piece, I the file that I bought on Etsy, it has like her holding an apple as well. And so I see, I don't know if you can tell, the apple goes there, she's holding it by a string or the string comes down. Um, but I have her behind the frame. So I just sort of sliced it out really quickly, but some of this we need to cut off. All right, let's put that down. So let's work from the top. Let's put this down. And I love Barely Art Glue for this because of the precision tip, for one. And the glue, <clears throat> excuse me, it gives me just enough time to position it and then it dries pretty quickly afterwards. So it's just really easy to handle. Now when I'm gluing it down though, I do, I like to put something heavy on there just to keep it flat while it's drying. Um, 
it dries pretty quickly like I said but it's just nice to have that on there all right so let's move this out of the way so I'm then going to trim off this little piece right here as well so I'm just gonna take my scissors all right let's put down the crown Same thing with this. I'm just gonna have it held down a little bit as it's drying. And so for this, I like to use my wooden dowels. So if it's a cake topper, obviously you could just use a wooden dowel, an acrylic piece. Um, or if you wanted to make it, like I'm gonna do this as a photo prop, so something like a wand that you would hold. So I am actually going to show you how to wrap this wooden dowel with um, black ribbon so that it just goes with the theme. It looks extra nice. It would be a party prop and everyone would take pictures with it. And then afterwards you can keep it, you know, it'll be a keepsake. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put this little guy down and then I'm gonna let it dry with something heavy on top. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put my phone on top, make it a little bit heavier. Okay, so that part is down. Let me show you the pieces. So I cut out two types of paper. This is more, I mean, you could see what I look like, right? I mean, this is so reflective that you can see. <laughs> this one, it is as well, but not as much when you compare it to the to this one, right? So it's up to you. I just wanted to show you what that looks like. I'm gonna put both down so you could see, and we're, I'm gonna show you how to kind of piece it together, but not piece it together, so that I can take the pictures and show you what it looks like when you use different types of paper. All right, so I think that's down. So let me show you. So the first one, Let's do this one. So what I would do is, this is our back piece. This is where the wooden dowel is gonna go in the back, okay? So put down your mirror piece. Gosh, she looks so good. Okay, so there is one option, right? And I'm gonna trim this right now because this is getting in the way. Actually, I'm gonna turn it this way. And trim it off. And remember, we're gonna have the banner down as well. And so this part, maybe I'll move it over a little bit. There, now you won't see it, okay. She looks so good. Let's put this together. Okay, so the one by, let's see, this, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use hot glue gun because it's going on glitter. I wanna make sure it sticks, so. Get your hot glue gun ready and I'm not even putting it all down, just enough so that it sticks. Can you see it? Sorry. Look how pretty this piece is. I absolutely love this paper okay 
Uh, for this, I would definitely put foam tape on the back so it pops up a little bit. So peel it off. I'm going to show you the other mirror in a second after we do this. Okay. So, oops, before you peel it off. Okay, so it's going to go like that. It's going to look so good. Okay, so let's put our glue down. You know what? I'm gonna let this dry a little bit longer. Give me a second. I'm gonna put that down while this is going. Okay, let's see if this is done. All right, so I'm gonna change this out, okay? And I'm gonna put this one down. And it's gonna go like this. So you tell me, I can't tell which one. I'm gonna have to look at this in a little bit and see which one I'm gonna go with. So that's why I'm not piecing it all together. But what I would do is I would put foam tape on here so that it pops up a little bit, put foam tape on her so that she, everything, everything that goes down on here is gonna be on foam tape. So foam tape, pop up a little bit. Foam tape, pop up a little bit. Foam tape, pop up a little bit. So this is gonna be layered like that and then we're gonna put this down. Let's go to the, um, the wooden dowel. So this, everything, everything just gets glued down in place, okay? So it's gonna be up to you. You can add more things. You can add an apple. You could do whatever you want. And I wanna show you, so this is the bell one. So you could see it's the same outline. The only thing different is the color scheme and this one has a shaker so the template is built to have a shaker but because this was a mirror i opted not to do the shaker but there will be a tutorial you can see it um in the uh, in the purchase section that there will be a tutorial linked to use the shaker but i just wanted to show you how it could look so different okay so let's look at this dowel and what i would do is I would start it at the top. So this is gonna be the top, okay? The, um, and I would start with a little bit of a hot glue gun. Now the other thing is, depending on how good this looks at the top, you can opt to let me get that started before I tell you. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be the start of our of our ribbon. 
Um, you can opt to do this. Make a duplicate copy of the back so that your wooden dowel goes in between and then the back is like nice covered, nicely covered. Okay, so you can always add that. Okay, so once this is down, you would every few, every few twists, I would put a little bit of glue down so that it doesn't unravel on you. I'm just twisting it down and then a little bit of glue gun and you're gonna get the little glue strings that's what I'm pulling at they're like little cobwebs I'm sure you know what I'm talking about okay so we're almost we're already halfway through Sorry, <laughs> all this gluing. Okay, let's pull this tightly down. Okay, I'm gonna glue a little bit right here. Almost to the bottom. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue down here before we get to the bottom. All right, so we're at the bottom. You can see there's only that much left. I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue here. And you know I love my HTV on ribbon as well. So if you wanted to, now at this point, I'm gonna put a little bit more glue. If you wanted to, you can run the ribbon a little bit longer. Oh my goodness, where did all that come from? Let me move my glue out of the way. I don't know why it's dripping so much today. Um, you can have a little saying on the ribbon as well. So, you know, you could say happy birthday, I love you, uh, the date, whatever it is. And you can have that down here. So it's up to you or you can cut it short and it just has like a little tail. This glue is driving me crazy today. But look at how pretty that is. I'm actually going to cut it maybe somewhere right around here so I can have that option later. And so it can have, you know, whatever you want right here. I think it could be so cute. So like if it was a graduation wand, it could have the school name, the year, uh, the mascot. I mean, so many different things that you can do here. Um, okay. And that's it. You would glue this on the back. Look at how cute that is, right? And so different from the bell, even though it's the same template. So anyway, I will see you more. I'm gonna do a few more of these. I'm gonna give you more options. You're gonna see the pictures. Let me know if you still have any questions, but I hope you enjoy the purchase. All right, thank you. See you next time.